Hello everyone and welcome back, Zeb here, back for another Terraria Top 3 for you all. Today we're going to be going over the Top 3 projectiles or throwing items there in pre-hard mode. So the Top 3 pre-hard mode projectiles basically. Kicking it off on our number 3 spot is going to be Molotov Cocktails. Now Molotov Cocktails have been uh, nerfed. I was going to say buffed, I was like the other thing of buffed. Have been nerfed. Otherwise, they would be higher on the list, but they were nerfed. So to make a Molotov cocktail, you're going to need five ale, one silk, one torch, and one pink gel, which you can only get from Pinky, which is the main hard part there. Ale, you, got, you can buy that, no big deal. But uh, Molotov cocktails, they are really, really powerful still. Nonetheless, I set up some dummies down here. You can see just how many they light on fire. So right off the bat, it's going to be doing 23 throwing damage. Slow throwing speed, though. And uh, you can't really throw it too far. So, like, uh, it goes, I don't know, maybe 12 blocks out. So it's a very th slow, like, throwing speed. It doesn't throw very far, but the damage it does is pretty great. When it breaks, it's going to release all these flaming projectiles. It's going to light anything it hits on fire. And as you see, we'll try and do it on the dummy so you can see, these little projectiles will hit two times. They'll hit... Kind of 10 11 there on uh, on enemies so as you can see one one molotov cocktail does a lot of damage when those projectiles fly out which can cause a lot of havoc to larger mobs or even bosses using it on bosses such as the brain as you can see right here and as you can see it's doing a pretty quick short job of taking out those tissue samples and everything pretty easy i know for the fact i have wings on during this but that's it's just for the sake of argument to show the killing power of Molotov cocktails. So the fact that you need pink gel for it though, really bogs down the utility of this because pinkies are really rare as it is. You only need one pink gel, I understand. But even that being said, you also need five ale. It is gonna make five Molotov cocktails, but ale also something you have to buy. And pinkies, pretty hard to come by as far as you know actually getting a lot of these if you're going to throw you know 99 of these at a boss or something well that's a lot of pink gel that you're going to need and that's a lot of ales that you're going to need as well so uh the materials used to make this is a little harder which is uh why it was nerfed because it's such a powerful weapon but regardless of that you can get it as early on in the game as you want or as lucky as you are to find a pinky and uh maybe if you get a uh raining slime from the sky it definitely would be a lot easier to uh, get that pink gel. But the fact that it was nerfed a little bit is gonna be the reason why it's gonna land us at the number three spot here, everyone. Coming in at our number two spot, everyone, is going to be the Bone Javelins. Bone Javelins are incredibly powerful new Terraria 1.3 throwing item, a javelin, as you can see. Uh, one of the coolest effects of these, though, is that, well, I am up here on this thing. Let's throw it into a vulture and uh, watch that vulture fly around. One, it sticks into him. Two, as you see right there, it does a continuous amount of three damage as it is sticking into them. Now, this will multiply with the more that you have into them, but it will only multiply up to 18. I will chuck a few of these into a uh, unfortunate mannequin here, as you will see. It's getting 18 there, 18, no matter how many I throw, it's going to stay at 18. So you can put in up to 18, uh, not 18 spears, but you can do up to 18 damage as this is sticking into something, which this is incredibly useful against bosses and everything. As you can see here, working really, really well against the queen bee. I used it against her and it absolutely destroyed her. And that being said, it's uh, definitely a weapon that you can easily get before fighting the queen bee or Skeletron or even uh, the wall of flesh if you wanted to take your... Uh, go at doing that. Um, I only have on uh, platinum armor, but you can also get the bone armor to help out with your throwing abilities. The other great thing about this weapon is that you can hold down the mouse button and actually continuously throw. So you don't have to keep clicking on this as with the other javelins that you would get from the uh, hope lights. You have to continuously click those. Also, those don't do nearly as much damage as these, of course, but that is a wonderful aspect of this. That you can just hold it down and it will continuously, sorry squirrel, come here, come on squirrel, I need to kill you, yes. So that is a wonderful effect also of these. So the bone javelins you get in the underground uh, desert here, kind of where we are at right now. And if you go down here in the underground desert actually, you'll end up finding yourselves pretty shortly, and I did not even map this out, but uh, you end up finding yourself some fossils in here. 
and you will mine those fossils and you put them into an extractinator you can turn them into sturdy fossils from the extractinator which one sturdy fossil will get you 15 of these bone javelins unfortunately i don't see any of these fossils in here but very very noticeable i don't want to go too far down into there so you need a nightmare pickaxe or the equivalent of that to mine the fossils and turn them into sturdy fossil so this means that you are going to have to kill the eye and the brain or the eater of worlds before you can get these javelins which is why they're going to be landing at our number two top pick instead of higher since you can get them not so early in the game but they are still a super super powerful javelin very very good at taking out bosses in my opinion and uh, definitely earning itself its number two top spot. And coming in at our number one top spot, everyone, is going to be the Frost Daggerfish. You don't know what the Frost Daggerfish are. It is like a throwing knife, except it is a fish. At 17 throwing damage here, it throws an icy daggerfish at its enemies. So this Daggerfish will penetrate up to three targets. So again, against like the Eater of Worlds, it'll penetrate its sections, making it very good. Also against other bosses, it'll penetrate their, them more than once, doing up to three hits of damage. So the thing that makes this weapon one really great is that you can get this as early on in the game as you want. You can get this in as early in the game as you want simply by fishing in the snow biome. So you can get this right off the bat, you can get it before fighting any of the pre-hard mode bosses, which is why I think this is earning its top one spot, because you can use this against every boss. That and its power, I've used this against basically every boss except the Eater, um, excuse me, except the Wall of Flesh, and it does a great job of killing all of them. It has a very fast throwing speed. It has a very high amount of damage. You do have to continuously click, unfortunately, to throw this, but the such high damage rate, the fact that it penetrates three sections, the fact that you can get it immediately once you start the game, simply by even just using a wooden, wooden fishing rod and a, a bug net, or if you get, which very simple to get, you can use this against every single boss, and it will help you out with every pre-hard mode boss if you so chose to use it but it would easily help you get by the eye and the brain or the eater of worlds which are those first couple bosses that you normally don't have any special weapons going into fighting and this is a special weapon that you could use going into fighting those bosses so that is why the frost daggerfish are going to earn its number one top spot it is one of my favorite weapons for that reason if you wanted to take the time to go fishing It'll help you cut through mobs and everything. The only downside to this weapon is once you throw it, there is no getting it back. It is not like the javelins. It is not like throwing knives. It's not like shurikens. They disappear after you throw them no matter what. They will always break upon contact. So that is the only downside to this. So you will run out of them relatively quickly. But that being said, it still earns its number one top spot for having a high DPS rate a good penetration against enemy units and again the fact that you can get it as early as you want in the game i hope you all enjoyed this top three if you disagreed with any of these choices leave down in the comments what you think should be the number one two th or three top pick if you did agree or if you didn't agree whatever hit that like button let me know what you guys want to see more of and i will see you all for the next video thanks for watching everyone goodbye